Now it's time to look at some animals, who in days gone by were literally the workhorses for the farmers, as Suzanne Wells meets up with the heavy horses. Join Sandra Grandinson and Suzanne Wells at the Essex Showground with the heavy horses. And let's follow two of the competitors at the show with their shire horses and we'll see how they get on. and we're going to find out exactly what Guy is doing. Now, Guy, what are you doing? I'm trying to plan his tail up. <laughs> it seems a very difficult task. It is, because he's rubbed most of the air out. I'm not going to be doing it. And with the birds. I just want to do it with string and magic. And ribbon. So you're plaiting with straw, then. What are you going to do? Uh -huh. Very so how long has it taken you to do it so far? Yeah, a quarter of an hour, I suppose, very because you shouldn't give up very on anyway. So I'm not getting on very well, am I? <laughs> Come to the front of the horse, then, to the front of Ben, and here's Judy. Now, how long have you actually known Ben? About six months. And what is your involvement with show horses? We help look after him occasionally, and we come out with him to show. So you're actually helping... Yes, I noticed this. <laughs> Doing some of the work. And how long have you been breeding horses? Uh, father's been breeding them. Show horses for five or six years now. That's all. So what is the stereotype of Shah horse then? You know, what's so special about the breed? Well, they were dying out, and uh, they were. They, there weren't many left in the country up until about ten years ago, and people have uh, just started breeding them again. But a lot of the be better type Shahs have been sold abroad. And, you know, we're having a job to keep the best quality Shire in the country. So what do you think is the attraction, then? What do you love about the Shire horse? The gentle giant, and that's what they're called. That, that sums it up. Right, well, here we are um, with two beautiful Shire horses, and I'm going to have a chat with their owner, um, who's Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Good afternoon. Hi. Um, what's the name of this beautiful Shire? This one is uh, Major. Right, and how, how old is he? He's a six-year-old. Right, how, how long has he, have you owned him for? We've had him since he was uh, three. Three. Right, and what's the name of the um, his companion He's, there? The other one is Brigadier. Right. Brigadier. Uh, right, is it very costly? Uh, well, managing it, it, yes, managing it can be, like but this. luckily I share these with a farmer. Right. And uh, by keeping them on the farm, helps to keep the cost down. Right. But you're talking somewhere about uh, £10 to £15 a week. A week. It could be more if you were paying for the stables. Right. And what does that what does that involve the cost of that? Mainly for uh, the feed. Right. Um, that's not including shoeing. If you want to have a heavy horse shoe, it's costing you somewhere about um, thirty-five to forty pounds. Right. So do you find it very expensive to actually keep keep horses like these? It's, it's an expensive hobby to 
main up heat with the uh, with your harness and your your wagons. Right. But so are uh, uh, smoking and drinking with me. So <laughs> and you prefer to spend it on horses? Yeah, I think for it is. Yeah. <laughs> How far have you travelled today? We've only come up from uh, just the other side of South End. Right. We're, we're local today. Oh, I see. And um, do, you, do you attend many shows at all? No, not as many as the big boys. We, we call ourselves the small boys. We're the amateurs. Right. Know? But we, we do about somewhere about... Um, Ten a year. Ten a year. Yeah. How far have you travelled? We go up to Peterborough, which is the main heavy horse show, and then we come down um, right through, and then we start, especially next month, we start ploughing. Right. So and we on a plough. Oh dear. Yeah. Right. And have you won any shows at all, or come near close at all? Well, we, we've got a third today, uh, fourth today, beg your pardon, so we're quite pleased oh, well with done. the class. It was a very heavy class. Was this Major that one came first? Major came first, yeah. Oh, oh right. And is that, is that his first? No, we have had other ones, yes. uh, mainly in the plough. We do more better in the ploughing than uh, when we're up against the professional boys that do it every day. Right, and they, are they no, normally good boys? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah. Yes. yeah. They've got two different temperaments. Uh, one is like a baby, and the other one's you've just got to watch him, and it's full of life. <laughs> and how much time do you actually um, spend grooming and looking after? Um, well, we don't spend, the show? unfortunately, we don't spend enough time, but uh, when we take, uh, to get ready for a show, we're talking about, uh, it was all day Friday, more or less getting the wagons prepared. Mm -hmm. um, all day yesterday, cleaning harness and washing the horses down. And then right. up again, four o'clock this morning, to get them ready, plait it up and get them ready to get them here. All right, so it's sort of like full, is it a full-time occupation for you? No, 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 it's a hobby. Right, what do you do full-time? I'm a building contractor. Right, so do you have any other horses at all? These no, are no, these are the only two. The only two, right. Enough. So what? You don't need only inspect the front shop, they, they look under all those brass. They see they clean the backs as well, that's the trouble. Does this bit go on there? Well, Does each particular part of the, the harness and bridle have a, a, a task? The bridle has a task, that, that's the thing that you're driving with. <laughs> but I mean, not in the brasses, I don't suppose they have a task of their own for show, really. I went here. Would you like to describe the parts of the harness? Well, that's the collar. Mm -hmm. That's the saddle. Uh, that's what they call a wandy or belly band. That's what? the ridge chain. Yeah. They're tug chains. That's the bridging. Which, when the cart pushes onto him, it, it stops him. It it'll stop the cart run. It's very ornate, isn't it? I don't know, is it? <laughs> <laughs> is this the actual original harness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how old is the harness then? I couldn't tell you offhand. I really couldn't. It's getting on a bit now. But I, I wouldn't like to say how old it was. And the brasses seems to be... They're all old brasses. Yeah. They're all, all originals. <laughs> they're, they're all... Behind. So is that the sort of thing the judge is looking yeah. for? Now all the horses are ready and so let's follow our competitors entering the ring for the judging. I'm with one of the judges, Arthur Oxby. Now, what exactly are you looking for, then, in the show of horses? Well, uh, we, uh, I was looking for a good confirmation. Freelance. I would do a good day's work and went and straight and true. Stores, what do you mean by straight and true? When it went away from you, he kept himself together and went straight. There has in the and past when it came numbers, back, he made you straight as well. Unfortunately, have not wobbling all over. And we're looking at some of um, 
the harness um, Shah's here. Now, what exactly? I mean, what would oh, you consider to be a champion here? here? Well, uh, so that means the, 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 the one at the top, he is the, he's the champion fella. He's a very good uh, turnout, that is. Yeah, what, it, it, what in particular? What, what do you see there? Well, it's the quality of the brass. So what's magical about the Shah horse to you, then? What do you love about the Shah horse? Well, he's... Uh, He's gentler now than what he used to be. I mean, years ago, they used to be a bit nasty. Why's that? I don't know. It's. Uh, I think it all boils down to... Uh, <coughs> you see, they, they crossed him with the Clydesdale several years ago, and they brought the Scotchman down, and I think they made it a bit kinder. I would have thought they would have made them sort of... Mr. The Kevin opposite. Oh, no, no, because the Clyde, is uh, he, he's a kind old chap. Representing yeah, they're, and they're all good workers, you know, so Clydes. As well, I didn't tell you who we nominated. Yeah. To I think they, they've, lo they've lost a lot of this, the nastiness in the Shires through crossing with the Clyde. That's my opinion. Mm. And you love them? Yep. After all, we'd yep. like to, uh, the sponsors yep. to at least to be seen. No, what's the judge doing now? Well, He's getting them all to line up again. Uh, well, he's got them sorted out. He's got his winner. And funnily enough, it's changed uh, the one, as I said, was going to win. Look, it's put him second. Mm. So uh, I was a bad guesser, wasn't I? <laughs> but that's your opinion. I mean, you yeah. thought he was going to yeah. come num number one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's finished the job off now, and uh, he's just pulling him in where he thinks. It's a difficult job for him, you know, because they're all nice, aren't they? Do you think he's done a good job, then? Yeah, I do. <coughs> yes, yeah, you can't grumble at that. But not your choice. No, well, I'm second. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The first prize in this class that is just going out of the ring was number 209, Mrs. B. Clark's region. Oh. Last time, uh, uh, whilst you had that remembering, I was reminded just now that Carl the door set Could I draw your attention, ladies and gentlemen, sir? Hello, Arthur. Hello. Uh, how, how well did you do? Uh, well, you didn't come there. All that well. No? no. What, 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 what went wrong then? Well, I think it's um, what you've got in this class is a lot of painting. Um, and a lot of original, which paint and comes up, it's more like a polished, and but the judge takes it all into consideration, and uh, it's one of those things. Right, are you very, very disappointed? No, 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 no. I enjoyed it, the, the crowd enjoyed it, and that's the main thing. Right, okay, then, thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. Guy, congratulations. Are you pleased with the turnout? I don't know. I don't know whether I am or whether I'm not. I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long old day for you. He owes me a pound. Here. No way. What about the competition then? Well, did you think you did well considering? I think we did very well considering. Here. It's a very, very good class. It was a pleasure watching it. It's the best sure. class I've seen this season. So what, why did you come second then? What was the problem? We got some brass in that chain. And that was all that was up wrong? Yeah. That seems so unfair. I told you if you'd have cleaned it. But no, you don't take any notice. If you'd have cleaned it, that'd have been all right. But you're pleased with Ben? Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't care what happens, really. Day out, innit? And you love it? You love the, oh, yeah. your if hobby? Oh, yeah. If we didn't, we wouldn't come. <laughs> well, our thanks to the organisers and the competitors of the Heavy Horse Show for our lovely day out. From all of us at the Essex Show ground, we say goodbye.